This week, we paint the nursery. Ian gets creative with a cider barrel. And we find a problem in the dungeon. So we are back in the shortest room of the chateau. We're gonna start by cleaning up these walls because I think when we... I need it. I think when we were taking off the wallpaper, we were letting out a little bit of aggression because <laughs> it looks like this room got in a fight and I think it was with us. <laughs> I think we won though. Yeah, we won, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna put a nice cream white everywhere and then we'll play around with the two colors that we have. Now we are gonna be recycling some paint that we found in the atelier. Some of it is green paint that we, we used for this like arch that was, we were just kind Inside of bored. Our house, yeah. It's like and our we were, very first renovation project. <laughs> it's not even a renovation. It was really just kind of It a was, idea. it looks so much better in green. It's all right. So we still have some of that paint. We'll try to use that and I might be able to add. You're in trouble. <laughs> some of the white paint <laughs> to make it more of a pastel tone. I get to try out our new sprayer, which it's battery operated. And uh, better yet, it looks like a ray gun. So I feel like I am a complete spaceman at this point. Try it here. All right, that. That's pretty good. <laughs> got a lot colder than we expected it to. And even though I had the heater on full blast, it was still too cold and all the primer separated. So I just spent a good four or five hours this morning going over and sanding all the drips from the primer. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how my day has been going. I think the white looks much better. Totally opened up this room. Yeah, it feels way bigger now. We knew we wanted this to be a softer room. And so we decided that the best color choices would be a mixture of like a pastel green and peach. And we just so happened to have leftover pastel green and peach paint. So funny how that worked. Lucky us. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of fun. Yeah. I was thinking we could tape this off so we could have molding green and then this little thingy, square thingy, rectangle, that could be in white. 
to give it a little more form. Okay, so paint the background green? Yeah. And then we'll do the trim of the window, mm -hmm. and then I will let you decide if you want to keep the window itself white. Or do it green? Probably. We'll start with the molding. We'll start with the molding. Yeah. Maybe we should have gone with a light blue. No, don't say that. We've passed that. We've had that discussion. I know, but I just keep coming back to it. At least no. that way we can say, if it doesn't look good, then I was right. <laughs> and we should have gone with light blue. <laughs> sure. And if it looks good, then we were right. <laughs> This is totally pistachio green. This is pistachio green. Should we call this the pistachio room? The pistachio room. So just to be clear, <laughs> this was intentional. <laughs> we can stay within the lines. Um, the idea is to fill these frames with wallpaper. And we narrowed it down to two options. Um, with peachy colors and pastel green colors. So should match, no problem. And I was thinking that we could do a fabric in one of the frames and then maybe make some little cut out flowers and birds. And if our viewers wanted to participate, it could be something that would be interactive. Maybe do like a blue background and then patch a bunch of flowers together and make like a little interactive field of flowers for kids to kind of be able to touch and... It's just different. It's new. And I also just thought it would be nice to have like something that our viewers can participate in. Last night we had a little storm and we're realizing that Everything is wet in the chateau, which means that there must be another leak. I mean, this is, it's like puddles, basically. Yeah, look at this. It's wet on all the walls. This is all wet, all of this. It's just already drained out. All of these walls are wet too. That's over that way, so. I think something else is going on on the other side of the chateau. Great. <sighs> That's not gonna be fun. Now the leak is way worse than last year, but it looks like the plug is coming from up the pipeline and it is on our property. I called the water company that works around this area and they came and they checked it out. And so they basically came back with a big team to analyze and figure out the exact same thing, yeah. which was <laughs> great. Hey, Cat followed us you? out to the forest. Hey, Bobby. What's up, dude? <laughs> You're not gonna like when the chainsaw gets going. <laughs> He's listening. <laughs> you can continue now. <laughs> <laughs> they came out, analyzed everything, came to the same conclusion. So now we're just going to clear three meters of the roadway so that they can come in with their big truck and suck all the stuff that's plugging the big pipe. And were they able to find the culprit? Like, is it is it like one of the Amazon delivery guys who <laughs> we just didn't care for that week or... What, what clogged up our dungeon? Ian? Ian? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no dead bodies, and we wouldn't know until they pull it out anyway. Well, <laughs> but, that's uh, probably good news. What's more realistic is that when they built it, they just didn't expect the ground to fall, and it's been falling steadily in this whole area. Now it has like a big puddle of water over it, and so they have to you know, swim to get to it and 
water's coming in and filling the chateau. And All right, so you said I great. get to cut things? That's the, uh, you get to cut stuff today? Yeah, That's, you get to cut okay, stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, everyone. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Lilac trees, I saved them in the middle. These are actually hops, they're wild hops. Huh. So we can start a brewery? Right here? We could. Right next to the septic tank? <laughs> right next to the septic I love it. Septic line, septic line. Tank is yonder. Oh. We'll call it <laughs> yonder tank. <laughs> yonder tank. The new beer. <laughs> For Christmas, one of our friends from Normandy gifted us one of the old staves from his cider barrels. And what's really cool about this is that the cider actually dyes the wood, this kind of orange color over time. So not only is this just a really unique old piece of wood, but it's also, it's got some uh, natural coloring to it, which I really like. So my goal is to just give it a solid handle and clean it up. And then I think we'll have a beautiful new cutting board. New, old, new, authentic. That's the word. All right. cut cider barrel before, but this smells like Calvados. <laughs> like all the sawdust, smells fantastic. I chiseled too hard and it broke, but, um, not ready to give up on this piece. So I am creating sort of a Frankenstein of what I was hoping to do originally. So same plan, just, uh, you know, it's got even more character now. Okay, I did it. Normandy cider stave cutting board. And then around back, you can see that warm, almost reddish cider stain. So I'm pretty happy with this. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to support us and get exclusive content, join us on Patreon. I'm just thinking the next time we go to the paint store, I'll be like, yeah, I really like this one. And what kind of flavor does it have? <laughs> <laughs> just see the look on oh. the lady's face. <laughs> she realizes I've been eating the paint. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. But then I know the other lady who works there, she's yeah. just gonna look back and be like, I knew it. <laughs>